Oh man, check it out. We've got pan seared scallops with a sweet pineapple chili sauce right there. A quick and simple recipe. Welcome to Gourmet Fishing. I'm your host, David Murray. And I tell you what, why don't we get started on that recipe right now? Hey, let's take a look at our ingredients for our sweet pineapple chili sauce. Again, very minimal, like a lot of our recipes. We've got, well, we've got pineapple juice. Obviously, that comes from the sweet pineapple. And we've got a few little uh, chunks of pineapple. This is canned pineapple. Fresh pineapple, that's fine, no problem. We've got a couple of uh, cayenne peppers. Now, uh, you know, I like mine a little on the spicy side. So I'm using uh, two. The recipe calls for one. Get that a taste first before you make uh, a leap into the double peppers. But we also have a clove of garlic. And over here, we've got a teaspoon of sugar, teaspoon of brown sugar. Uh, we've got a, a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper powder. That kind of gives it a little something else too. Now we've got a uh, tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. We've got a teaspoon of cornstarch. Right here, we've got a teaspoon of cool water. And that right there is the basis of our sauce. But we also have some butter. And of course, I've got four nice sized scallops right here. The recipe, which is down in the uh, description below, uh, calls for 12 scallops, two servings of six. Now I'm doing, I'm doing four because I'm not that hungry today. <laughs> so anyway, we got our scallops. Man, we've got everything we need to get started. So that's exactly what we're gonna do is get started on our, our sauce. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add our pineapple juice right there to our little um, food processor. I'm gonna come in here with our uh, pineapple, do the same. Right here, we've got our kind of, I used to say our dry ingredients, which is our cayenne, our salt, and our two sugars. And let's see what else we're gonna do. You know what? We're gonna come in. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and chop up our um, garlic. Uh, I'm just gonna come in here and kind of sort of rough cut this. You know, it doesn't have to be, you know, super minced or anything like that because this little guy is gonna take care of that for us. We come in and just add that. Oh man, almost lost a little garlic guy here. Now I'm gonna come in with the ends of our peppers, and we're also going to remove the seeds from our peppers. Let's see, come down here like this. And what you wanna do is open it up and you can see those seeds and we're just gonna come in and pop those right out, just like that. I'm gonna do that for the other side also, just like so. There it is, just like that. And I'm gonna come in, go on a little seed and well, it won't get away from me. <laughs> so. And then we're just going to come in here and just thinly uh, cut our pepper, just like so. Add that, and then we'll do the exact same thing to the other. All right, now we have our second cayenne, just like this. We're going to add him in there. Voila. Okay, now we're going to come in. We're going to come in here and clean this up real quick, just like so. All right, now grab my towel and that right there man heck that's that for the most part is our sauce man simple quick and easy clean up just the tad as we go going to cap our little food processor and we're just going to give this a couple of nice pulses And this one actually goes backwards, it has a chop and a grind, so I'm going to reverse direction. All right, there we go. That right there is, for the most part, our, our sauce. Now, of course, we gotta do a few more other things to it, and that right now is gonna happen. So we're gonna take this, open this up, take our little cutting wheel out, and we're going to add this to a heated pan just like so now we got this over over a medium high heat 
and we're going to bring this just to where it begins to uh, boil, kind of sort of on the edges or maybe just, just as it just begins to boil. All right, see how that's starting to boil, kind of sort of right on the edges and in the middle. I'm going to give that a nice little, nice little stir, just like so. Okay, all right. Now, next, what we're going to do, um, you know, I can't remember if I said what this was. That's our root. I might have said cornstarch, or I might have not said anything at all about it. I think I did, but I'm using our root. Uh, if you've got cornstarch, that works just fine. I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to add some water. So we got a teaspoon of our starch, which is, for me, our root, and a teaspoon of water. We can make this a nice little slurry. Just like that, and this is what's going to give it that uh, the 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 thicken the thickness uh, that we're looking for for our sauce. Now, a lot of Asian recipes call for cornstarch and water to thicken. So now we're going to come in here. We're going to add this, just like that. Get all that good out of there. And you need to add. You need to mix the cornstarch or our root with. Uh, with cool water. If not, it'll kind of clump up and you don't want that at all. So now I'm gonna come in here and we're just gonna give this a nice stir. As you can see, there's a little bit of, um, uh, what do you wanna say? It's just kind of congealed almost on itself. And now we're gonna turn the heat off. And I tell you what, look at that. That is nice and thick. Ah, smells lovely. Yes, it does. Now we're gonna take this and we're going to Move it off and let that cool down just a tad. Now I'm going to come over, and now it's time for our pan-seared scallops. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot. We've got to add <laughs> our acid. We've got to add our apple cider vinegar to this. And now I'm going to just come in here, and we're going to give that a nice... Check that out. I mean, that looks good. A nice stir, and everything's going to be just perfect and... Now, we're going to sit and cool down for a minute while we get, like I said, our scallops cooking. It's time to begin pan searing our scallops. I've put our butter in, in our little pan, just like so. It's about a tablespoon of butter. Oh, listen to that. Sounds good. Now, I've got four scallops. Again, recipe calls for 12, that which is two servings. I'm only doing four. Uh, and what I've done is I have patted these dry to, you know, get them as dry as we can. So anyway, they don't, they don't splash all over the place. Now, when you fry in scallops or pan sear in scallops, it takes almost no time to cook them. We're going to cook these for about 90 seconds per side, and they're going to be done. So when, you, when you're frying these scallops, now if you're doing like the, the 12 servings, you need a pretty big frying pan. Uh, but no matter what you do, you want to be able to, you want to put your uh, uh, scallops in a pattern that you can remember which one was the first one I put, it, put in. So we're going to use the clock. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to drop him there. And then we're going to come in here. He's going to be at three o'clock. This little guy is going to be at six. And then here we are. This one's going to be at nine o'clock. So when we come back to flip them, we know that that one's first second, third, and he's the last one. Fairly simple, fairly, fairly, I don't know, quick and easy to do. Oh yeah. All right, I tell you what, this is looking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to flip my first scallop. Let's see what we have. Oh yeah, oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> awesome. Like I said, this is just 90 seconds, man. I mean, these things are almost done. Just like so. Oh yeah, that looks beautiful. And you don't want to crowd these too much when you're cooking them. So I tell you what, we are almost done. So let's go ahead and get our plating started, just like so. So I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna grab some of my sauce, just like that. I'm just gonna add a little bit over in the corner, just like that. Oh yeah. I don't know, man. Looks good to me. <laughs> so we'll, we'll roll with that. So, I tell you what, we are, like I said, we're almost done with these things. And you can kind of see the cooking, it kind of, kind of like well, kind of like fish. You can kind of see uh, the, the, the scallops cooking right in front of you. All right, I tell you what, we are ready. I just got a little paper towel. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna pick this one up and just let him drain just a tad to keep some of that, that butter from, from transferring over to the plate. So voila, just like that. And 
bam, we are done. I promise you. Right at 180 seconds. I mean, that's just 90 seconds aside because you don't want to overcook these guys because then they get, oh, they get real rubbery and, eh, you know, you just, you want something to be nice and tender. So we're going to come in here. We're going to drop this guy right here. I don't know. Drop this one, what, but maybe about right there. What do we want to do? Um, whoo, a little warm, obviously. You know, we'll do this and maybe this like so okay yeah that'll work that'll work won't it okay so now i'm going to come in grab a lime and you say you know what first i'm going to add a little bit more of our sauce kind of right on top you know just like that why not that'll work okay all right there we are yes sir oh and by the way we cooked these uh let me turn that off <laughs> guys going, why is it so hot anyway we cooked them over a medium high heat now i'm going to come in and we're just going to add a little bit of lime zest to this just like so oh yeah that'll work now since we got our lime here what the heck why don't we go ahead and cut us up a couple of little pieces of lime just like so just like that one and two i don't know we'll drop this one like right here yeah and then right i don't know right there voila how's that man holy cow quick simple you know what let's grab i tell you what we're gonna grab a little bit of this basil and the only reason we got the basil here is because i don't have any parsley so you know what we're gonna come in and we'll just drop this heck man i guess that'll work why not that'll work perfectly right there man how about it there you go there is our pan seared scallops and we're serving that with our sweet pineapple and chili lime sauce man, again simple quick and easy hey over here that's our first ever uh video for gourmet fishing youtube channel those are pan seared scallops again but we made a citrus butter sauce to go along with them and hey right there don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I tell you what, please give this a shot. Let me know how it turns out. And I tell you what, until next time, God bless, and we'll see you soon.